Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. We're going to be taking a short little trip between Pat Lake and Morgan Lake. Now these are uh, two lakes that are just west of Kamloops. I'll put a link in the description for the previous video where we drive from Kamloops to this lake. And so you can kind of see one of the two ways to, to get here. Uh, the video that's going to follow this one in a couple days, that's going to go from uh, Morgan Lake down to Savannah. And that's the, um, that's the road. If you were to drive from Savannah to Logan Lake, that's the road that you would take. And it also goes by Tunkwa Lake, which is another popular lake uh, for fly fishing. But uh, that's about a, maybe about a 20 minute drive from Morgan Lake down to Savannah. So the next video will be uh, will be going down that way. Pat Lake and Morgan Lake are really the first lakes that become ice free in the springtime in the Kamloops area. That is, so anybody within a couple hundred miles of uh, Kamloops is probably coming here to fish, fly fish. They're really popular lakes. You can see by all the all the vehicles that are parked at the different spots here, just how popular it is. It's uh, the place to be, especially on a day like today. So nice, no wind, but perfect for springtime. Now these lakes, there's no ice fishing allowed, so. There's really no pressure on, on them since the fall. And there's a, a few regulations that are specific for this area. Um, single barbless hook, artificial flies only, uh, no, no bait, that sort of thing. And there might even be some uh, power restrictions for uh, what kind of motors you can use, uh, electric motor only, I'm not sure. But you wanna check into the regulations because they're kind of specific, especially for these smaller lakes. So this road is a little bit worse, the road between the two lakes, than the actual road from the highway to Pat Lake, where we started out here today. Um, so you kind of want to have a, a high clearance vehicle, 4x4, even a pickup truck is fine. Um, it's not particularly difficult unless it's wet but uh, you're going to end up scraping and stuff like that. Well, you, you'll see people with a Honda Civic or something up here too. Actually, we passed a guy just before we got to the, the lake there, passed a guy with a travel trailer. So that would have been a, an adventure. So this is the second parking area at Pat Lake. Um, we were at the other where we started there we just around the corner and it's the same lake but anyway this uh this area there's no camping up here unfortunately so uh if you were to come here in the spring from somewhere uh, somewhere farther away uh there are some options uh provincial campgrounds in the area typically are free i think before may first something like that um, now there's no services or anything like that and uh, the outhouses may even be closed I'm not sure but um, uh, certainly no water or electricity that sort of, sort of thing but there's a Savannah right in, in Savannah itself on the lake there's a little campground there I think it's called Steelhead and I believe it's just a small provincial campground but there's also one if you're heading uh, a little further west towards Cache Creek not that far away, maybe, you know, another 15 minutes or so from, from Savannah. Uh, it's called Juniper Springs and it's right on the Thompson River. And that's another provincial campground, lots of spots there. But even that's a, uh, you know, pretty quick drive to the, to these two lakes. So this is a uh, uh, range lease. So uh, there are cattle uh, in the area. So if you, if you go through any gates or anything like that, they're, uh, um, you know, if you, if you get to it and it's open, leave it open. If you go through it and it was closed and you got there, close it behind you. 
that sort of thing. We don't want to piss off the ranchers or the loons access to this sort of thing. And these lakes are really popular in the spring for fly fishermen. They, I think if uh, we lose access to these two, you'd probably go crazy for another couple of weeks at least before anything else was open. So this is the uh, first week of April we're here right now. So you can kind of see it's uh, no sign of snow, but nothing's really starting to green up yet. You're not going to really want to go fishing here in the summer. It just gets too hot, so the water temperature is just too high. and um, Yeah, not really a pleasant, pleasant thing for the fish, and they probably aren't going to survive to being released. I think these both these lakes are catch and release only. That's another thing I should mention. But, uh, you know, when it's really warm, they don't, they don't survive well if you're trying to release them. So we're just about at Morgan Lake here. And out of the two, this is my favorite lake. It's just a neater area and fish are a little bit bigger. Fish are typically, you know, around the three pound range at both of these lakes. A lot of people will say they're six pounds or, but no, really they're about three pounds. People aren't really sure what they're catching. I think a lot of the time they don't weigh them, but um, yeah, if you like this kind of thing, uh, check back. We're gonna do a bunch of lakes here in the next couple of weeks. And um, yeah, subscribe, thumbs up if you like it. But uh, other than that, we'll catch you on the next one.